Hey, what's up, YouTube? You already know I'm All City with AllCityLiveTV.com, and thank you for tuning in. I'm super excited to bring you guys some content on Destruction All Stars. If you want to bring the fun back to next generation consoles, Destruction All Stars is where it's at. And although it may seem like just a bunch of mayhem out there, I got to tell you, there is some strategy involved in Destruction All Stars. I'm going to give you guys some beginner tips to help get you through those beginning phases of destruction all star so you guys can start creating mayhem out there as well let's get into it all right guys so let's talk about the game modes because the game modes is where it's at and it's going to help you guys better understand how to approach the game understanding the game modes as well will help you choose your character and how you want to play the game so this is what we're going to go into first so you can understand the actual game modes we'll start with mayhem you hit wreck evade and take from your opponents to score and what this means is you could actually take your opponent's vehicle you can jump on their vehicle and take their vehicle you could hit them to score points wreck them to score points or evade evade is when you're actually outside of your vehicle and you're evade you're like evading other vehicles that are trying to hit you and knock you out watch it while you're running around out there let's go into the next game mode which is grindful which is pretty dope we played this yesterday on live stream is a pretty dope game mode it's like a last man standing kind of game mode and what this is the floor under you it starts like disappearing so you can fall in the depths you don't want to get knocked into those pits by your opponents you're out there trying to knock your opponents into the pit so that you're the last man standing let's go into stockpile so you can better understand stockpile it says attack opponents collect gears then drop them off to control the banks and what they're referring to as banks if you familiar with call of duty or some of these other game modes where you got to control particular objectives that's what they're referring to as banks what you do in this game mode in particular is you ram your opponent to wreck them and they drop gears and the gears are randomly dropped throughout the map as you're wrecking opponents so as you're going head to head with your opponent the whoever wins the battle the opponent drops gears you have to exit your vehicle to actually pick up the gears and then get back in a vehicle and go to an objective and stand there long enough to actually drop off the gears while your opponent is trying to knock you off of that objective as well super fun in the game mode definitely sign that you guys want to consider especially if you're running with friends out there carnado is pretty dope as well what i learned about carnado is that you attack your opponent to earn gears so you every time you're wrecking your opponent you're hitting your opponent these gears you're gonna you're gonna attain some gears when you get those gears which you'll see as a little icon you then have to go into the middle of the map into this tornado that's in the middle of the map and your car explodes but you then submit those gears for your team it's like points for your team but you're, you're gonna have to exit the vehicle because your car is gonna explode when you drive it into the tornado and you gotta find a new car but you are gonna get some points out there find a new car and start the process all over again let's get into the all-stars so you guys can better understand how to choose your all-stars and how you're gonna approach the game all right so all of these different characters have different abilities and this will determine how you're going to approach the game maybe you're a defensive type of player maybe you're a collector a scavenger type of player maybe you're aggressive and you want to be out there just wrecking stuff and you're an aggressive type of player there's so many different ways to actually approach the game which we're going to get into right now if you're going to be an aggressive type of player i want you guys to know that you could actually go into the character details for each one of these players so that you could understand how to actually approach the game all you got to do is press the box button and then it'll bring up their special abilities which is called the breakers each player has a breaker and as you can see gian has the ability to activate a breaker to deploy proximity mines the mines will damage any opponent vehicles who get too close and knock on foot opponents to the ground so that's another special ability when you're outside of your vehicle you can activate your breaker but when you're in your vehicle you get special abilities as well as you're driving around if you press l1 you can activate the special ability like you see for gian his special ability on his special car releases these spikes that do damage out there so 
And you got to understand that when you're out there and you're trying to decide which character to select, go into the details. Try to find a player that suits your play style. Do you want to be aggressive? If you want to be aggressive, you might choose a player like Ultimo because Ultimo's breaker is while active, Ultimo's barricade breaker or barricado's breaker makes him immune to knockouts from all-star vehicles. He's so strong out there. He has this armor that he could run around and you can't knock him out even with a vehicle approaching him he doesn't phase him and then his actual vehicle when you get your special vehicle the way in which you get special vehicles is these little gems that are around the map you collect them and your your bar goes up for your special ability or your special car when you get and when you fill up your bar you get the opportunity to get your special vehicle and go out there and create mayhem and like ultimo's special car is an undisputed breaker fortifies the front of the vehicle with a big shield blocking any and all incoming damage and packing a huge punch i've been fortunate enough to play with this vehicle the goal is to get those vehicles out there get your special cars unlocked during gameplay pick them up and go crazy some players have a lot of speed which you want to consider out out there like uh, I think it's here Genesis special ability is more so about speed as you see Callisto's breaker achieves super speed and will do heavy damage against anything in its path while getting you where you need to go faster than any other vehicle so this is actually the fastest vehicle in the game is Genesis so you might want to consider choosing Genesis because you're going to create damage and you're going to be fast out there I imagine that that's a huge benefit when you're trying to strategize on how to get these gears to the objective also when she's outside of her vehicle and you activate her breaker genesis breaker allows her to reach maximum running speed in the arena she can race toward collectibles barge into targets at high speed or quickly evade the opposition so this is what you want to do when you're out there you want to go and choose the right player that suits your playing style go out there and create some mayhem i hope this video helped you guys better understand how to approach destruction all-stars we're going to be live streaming destruction all-stars so if you guys want to come on out and join us on live stream we would love to have you if you guys got questions or comments about the game come on out join us we'll see you out there i hope you guys found this video helpful and or informative and if you did please consider dropping a like on the video if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing as we're gonna have a ton of next gen content coming your way i'll catch you guys on the next video easy y'all